your friend Paper Nerd. Today I'm going to review Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Robel and there's a lot to say about this book. Um, you know that Munchausen syndrome where a lot of mothers usually um, they make their children sick and just to get the attention so this has kind of the trope in this book. Um, Remember Gypsy Rose, uh, that actual real happening, what we all seen in the news, um, where it had, at the end, it had a really bad twist because uh, the abusing mother uh, got actually killed from, from the child's uh, boyfriend. So this book is probably, it's not based on, on the real case, absolutely not. Um, but I think it gave the author a kind of a trope to go on. So let's say it this way. So let's come to the book. It is about a mother and a daughter. The mother is getting actually sentenced for... Um, for the abuse on her daughter, um, starving her, making her sick where there was no sickness, and so on. Uh, you'll find more, f find out more while reading this book, of course. So I'm not going to go too much into detail, but it is about this mom and daughter. The mom got got into jail or prison for five years, and now she's coming out, and the daughter is actually taking her. Um, home and uh, trying to rebuild a normal relationship, so to speak, normal relationship between mother and daughter. Uh, the daughter, meanwhile, has a baby, and so there's a lot going on there. Um, it's what really kind of uh, shocked me was you get you get the, it's going back and forth between mom and daughter. You hear the mom's side, then you hear the daughter's side, then you hear the mom's side again, and everything in between what's happening. Um, so it it goes a little bit before the mom went to prison, during the mom went in prison, and afterwards, and during the time what the daughter did while the mom was in prison. Um, if you are looking for a kind of a revenge story, don't look any further because this is a revenge story and at the end you really don't know who you should be rooting for because you come to find out that mother as well as daughter are twisted it's kind of like the daughter learned to be twisted by her mom but still she's not as bad as her mom was um, Still the daughter has feelings. Still the daughter is uh, different from her mom. Now the end will surprise you. The, and like I said, the, the end is you don't know who you're going to be rooting for because it's kind of a little bit unforeseeable, the end. You're going to be surprised. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say without spoiling it. So... I do give this book uh, four and a half stars, a solid four and a half stars. It was a ver very good book. It uh, kept me, kept my nose in uh, between the pages to see what's going on. And like I said, it's flipping back and forth sometimes with the time. But before a new chapter starts, it always tells you the time in both of their lives when what happens. So it's... It's a good book. It's a good book for a uh, weekend in for like maybe a rainy weekend, you know, where you're sitting with your book uh, curled up on the couch with a cup of hot cocoa or coffee or whatever or a glass of wine. So I, I would absolutely recommend this uh, Darling Rose Gold. So four and a half stars. Alrighty, uh, go ahead, purchase it. Put your nose in the book and read, 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 and enjoy. Alrighty, I'll talk to you some other time. Bye.